Well, we got home with the, these uh, worms. <laughs> I thought we were only gonna get two bags of them like this. And they wound up having a bag and they poured one bag and they gave us this big box that was about half full. So we got worms out the you know where and I don't know where we're gonna put them all. We probably got, oh, I don't know, 30,000 at least uh, worms. And well, it's getting dark. Uh, it's, uh, so I'm gonna have to cut this video off for now, but um, tomorrow morning I'll <laughs> make some video and show what we've got with all these worms, worms, worms. Well, just as I got started here, I just wanted to, to show kind of what the process is gonna be. I just turned this over to get a handful and we got worms. <clears throat> we got a lot of them live worms. So this is really good. And we're gonna just clean out and get them out of the manure. So I've just thrown it on the table here and uh, you know, just have to go through it manually. This stuff's so sticky, but there's lots of worms to get. So I'm going to get as many as I can. I'm not gonna go squeeze through every little bit of this stuff, but I'm going to get as many as I can and then um, separate them out, put them into this. And about half of this, ought to be about a pound. So that'll kind of give me an idea of how many. I am not counting 20 to 30,000 worms, okay? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But I'm just gonna fill them up and, and call it about half of this will be a pound. So then I'll put them into these different buckets, put them up uh, maybe two pounds a piece in here. They really shouldn't have more than about a pound a piece for the size, but um, right now, I mean, they'll they'll, whole 2,000, but generally you want to put your worms, you want to put less than you have uh, for square foot so they'll grow into the space because they're going to reproduce and they reproduce very quickly. And the general rule of thumb is that this uh, one square foot of area, which is about what that is, is should be about a th uh, 2,000 worms maximum. That's, that's like all you're ever going to get in a heavy production. So you wouldn't want to put more than maybe a thousand in there and then they'll double or, you know, over time they'll, they regulate themselves. And so typically I'd even maybe put 500 in there to start and, um, just let them grow into it. But this is kind of a emergency situation. So we're going to put, uh, two pounds probably into each one of those. And I'll probably put 10 pounds. That's a, two by three so it's six so it'll hold 12 pounds so I, I might put even uh, 12 to 15 pounds in there because later on we're going to be moving it over into the into the constant flow through anyway so I can kind of load it up right now it's not like they're going to be having to survive in there for months they'll be in there a week or so and I, that shouldn't be a problem lots of food ready for them and and there's lots of food ready in those the, for a week to two weeks so that should be plenty but anyway yeah we got like lots of worms and i know i keep talking on the video because i really don't want to get into all this cow manure but <laughs> there's not much choice got to make it happen and see the worms have already gone they're they're healthy in here but um they're i i just think i need to move them i just don't like them being in this direct cow manure i'd rather feed them composted cow manure than to have them try to live in the cow manure so that's where we're going well, I wanted to show you a very good example here of just exactly what happens with the worms and, uh, and the difference of stuff. Now, this is all in cow manure, and uh, these guys are, are working over here, but they haven't, they haven't quite finished. And these guys are, are really quite finishing, and they'll be moving. Uh, they'd probably be moving pretty soon. I'm going to be moving them to a different place. But you can see all of the, the good black stuff, black gold around here. And that's around with the worms their excrement and then there's another group of them over here that we've got the same thing and here's here's one egg or a cocoon hope you can see that right there yep and uh, so this is what happens after a time and we're moving these guys into a little better environment than in straight cow manure but we bought them in cow manure and um, i mean they are processing and they're they're doing okay but we're finding hundreds of them dead every morning uh, on the top 
and it's just I think it's the ammonia and stuff from that so we're moving them to a better environment anyway I wanted to show you here the, the nice black gold that we're getting out of that and um, the difference you can tell in the color very easily from this brown from the manure of the cow and then to the black of the uh, manure of the worms. Well, I wanted to show you a little bit about how to remove worms from cow manure. And actually the process is not that you want to remove the worms from the cow manure. The easiest way is remove the cow manure from the worms. Simple enough. Here's a big pile of cow manure that's got a lot of worms in it. We bought, uh, I don't know, about uh, 300 pounds, I guess. That's a, that's a guesstimate of this uh, cow manure that's, that's full of worms. They estimated there's about 20,000 worms in there. I don't know how many. We've we lost count <laughs> because there were just so many. But uh, probably well over 10,000 anyway. I don't think we really reached 20,000. I don't feel like we've had so far. Now this is the last of the, the all the piles. But I wanted to show you a little bit about how we go about removing the worms from the cow manure or the cow manure from the worms. And I, what we found is this, uh, to use a very similar process to what you do when you're harvesting the worms as it's all finished product. Now we wanted to remove the, the worms from this cow manure because uh, a couple of reasons one we're finding an awful lot of dead worms here's one right here and and you can see a pile of them up here and uh, it just we think that the manure was too fresh so we're wanting to move the worms out and let the manure settle a little longer and then we'll be able to uh, or the remaining worms anyway uh, we want to get them out of there and then we want to use this um, composted cow manure as feed for the worms a little later because we're going we're just going to compost all of the cow manure like it really should be have it much more seasoned anyway the whole video here is about getting the, the the worms out so let's take a look at that well we've got this pile here and so basically we've let it sit for a couple of days because we've been working through everything else and what we're seeing in here is just dead worms for the most part now there happens to be a, a live one that's kind of unusual for for what we've been having but I'm gonna put him over here in the bucket and uh, looks like we've got sorry the uh, Air Force is running <laughs> maneuvers of some kind here I guess so we've got a couple of more worms here that that were living which is really unusual for grabbing one of these piles on top so I'm gonna take that out there's uh, yeah there's a bunch of dead ones in there so we're gonna take this and just drop it in our in our compost bucket to, or to be composted and I just uh, I've been taking this slowly at a time and just cleaning this away and then we leave the worms so we're not disturbing them too much and we just take this slowly but surely clean it around clean it around oh there's some worms okay so if we're if, we, if we're careful I mean we may drop a worm in the compost bucket okay so what um, that'll be all right so I'm gonna go ahead and rake, rake that in there because we don't need just one worm and then we're gonna go over here and kind of rake around and see what we find we start seeing a whole bunch of worms well now that's what we're really after so um, we're going to take these going to start taking the clumps off here off the top and see what we get into uh, we're getting a couple of worms so i'm going to this is this is what i say it's a lot like harvesting in regular harvesting but because the material is not dry they're still inside there a lot so let's take this and this is a clump of dead ones and everything now we're starting to see a whole lot of worms. This is really what we want to get into here. So let's uh, let's again remove material that we don't want, and we're going to keep the material that we do want, and see how they they'll stick together. Now you'll get a worm or two that that kicks out with that, but generally they'll all stick together, and then uh, they move down because of the sunlight. Now we're not in real bright sun here, but they don't like any light. So let's try to uncover this a little bit. Let's come back up in here and see what we got. Oh yeah. Now we're into some worms. So we just want to remove this other top layer of stuff. And I usually just set it to the side over here a little bit and let the worms come out of that. I break it apart slightly or 
agitate it somewhat and most of the time they all fall out or um, at least the majority of them and I can drop that in there so I, I just use a sm small sweeping motion and just sweep around over here a little bit until I start finding a lot of worms and then I grab that and dump it or I'll uh, come over here on this side for a while and then when I get a big clump of them like like I've got going here then that's what I'm going to take and put into my bucket. So, uh, you know, count how many worms there are. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. I have no idea. When you pick this up, it says worms. I mean, you want to count them all? Come on over. <laughs> I can't possibly count them all. There's probably four or five hundred in there at least. Uh, maybe, maybe a little more than that and i don't i don't want to have to count them so that just goes in the bucket there i just love that part oh that's that's fun i i, I don't know i like worms um so let's see let's get up in here just a little bit more and do another oh yeah another good handful so you know you want to count them it's just not possible but ain't it pretty ain't it great we got worms and we're able to make organic compost finally and we're really happy about that uh, we've actually had people now come to us and ask us when can we buy some compost from you we're excited about it too we want to buy the comfort now they don't like looking at the worms they don't want to touch them or anything but they they've been asking about the the humus or um, the uh, organic ca castings and um, Man, we're, we're excited. We're going to be having some of that in a few weeks. So there's another three quarters of a pound or so. And then, you know, just it keeps going. Now this has got a lot of uh, a lot of manure in it, but I'm still going to go ahead and drop this partial handful in there. So the, the bucket has some things for them to go work around in. And, you know, they do that real quick. They disappear. In fact, I'll probably make a video here in a minute about um, how they disappear once we put them into the final bucket over there. I'll show you how that's done and maybe even do a time-lapse video on it or something. I've uh, been wanting to do one of those. So, anyhow, lots and lots of worms. Thanks for watching. That's how you remove the manure from the worms. Well, I wanted to show what the, the final is on all of this after three days, three, two and a half days anyway, <laughs> we took about uh, 300 pounds of um, cattle manure mixed with worms. Now we have worms and a lot of cattle manure. So uh, this is not nowhere close to the whole final of the worms. This is just in this final box. Uh, this is the box that I had everything in here. And this is the work today, and I worked about uh, four hours. This was up pretty close to three quarters of the way. We tried to put it in here, clean this today, and now this is this is what we've got. And um, this is just worms, 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 huh? Lots of worms. I figure there's about five thousand in here. Um, that's, I'm not very good at figuring, kind of new at this, but um, that's what I'm going to figure. One good handful, that's not even one real good handful. But uh, about a pound is supposed to be about a thousand. That's about a pound, and that's maybe a little more than a pound. So I'm, I'm going to estimate we got 5,000 here. We've got approximately, um, we've got four buckets of a thousand. We've got... Um, they just stick when they're like this. They really get sticky. I mean, we've got uh, several others. So all, all total out of what we thought was supposed to be about 20,000, that was the, the estimate that we paid for, uh, we wound up, I'm going to estimate that we've got about 15,000. And we paid $175, so a little over $10 a pound. I think it works out fine. We really only needed about 6,000 worms. But we decided if we're going to do it, let's do it right and, and um, get them now. 
build a big enough place and then we'll start selling compost. And since we've been talking to people about it, they're starting to be interested about getting compost. So that's wonderful. That's, you know, sometimes you take that step and, and uh, risk a little bit, step up a little bit, and um, looks like it's going to be sold. I sold uh, eight bags yesterday of a little bit of compost, $2 a plastic bag full. So um, that was pretty good. Nice start. And uh, she said, I, I have to take a whole bunch more, uh, but I want to go take this over to a, a school. She was going to a Christmas festival. She said, I want to take this over and uh, sell it there. And I said, go for it. So that's a potential customer that we're going to have right away. And everything's good. Anyway, lots and lots of worms. Have fun in your worm business. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And go get some worms, worms, worms. Stuff. I'm gonna put them in the bucket. There you go.